didn't know what was going on. Every, the only thing I was worried about was breathing, to be honest, because that was the major concern. And then, obviously, I was trying to speak to the doctor, explaining what happened, but then there was nothing coming out. I couldn't speak either. So it was a bit bit scary at the time, but um, look, the, the doctors handled everything very professionally and calmed me down um, pretty well. So, yeah, it was very good from them. There was there were so many messages I can't even can't even describe how many people there were to try and get. It was actually hard to keep getting back to them with the messages. So it's people all over the world, players that I used to play with, family, everything. So yeah, it was awesome. Things have recovered so well that I've, I've always, even after that happened, I told them I, I want to play again if I can. That was always my mindset. You just realise how quickly it can be taken away from me. You know? um, not even that, I just learned a lot about myself being being grateful for for what's you, what you take for granted, you know, sometimes. Some days you, you're tired, you don't feel like training, whatever, but now you wake up in the mornings and you're just happy to be involved again because it can be taken away from you so easily. We want to go out and try and win win uh, the Challenge Cup if we can. Obviously, <clears throat> we can't look much further than this weekend, um, but after that, obviously, we want, to, we want to definitely stay up in the Premiership and even move up the table if we can. Um, I think we've got the players to do that as well. So <clears throat> it's just all about um, our execution and how we end all these games, these tough games coming up.